Let's play another round of Beneath Orisa because it's by by far my favorite game of the Tiny Teams Festival so far. Um, again, it's not not out yet. Sometime this year, um, and it's just PM a demo. But holy moly, it is already fun. That the same. This might actually the same layout as last time. I'm not sure if that is always the case or a demo thing. But this, no, that is not the, the same thing as last time. Because this is a different sector name. Last time it was not water treatment and it was sector A56 or something. So that is somewhat procedurally generated, even though that looks... It might be that the the um, encounter types are the same. So, fight, I can do nothing. Or I can pincer. 75% ch chance to gain or 25% chance to discard at a fight start. Well, no risk, no fun, right? So, I am playing as a faction. Wait, what's this guy? This force destroyed. Each round, this four against three for each ally near him. Each time it you attack this for okay let's kill that guy first then um this faction um gains charge the counter attack when this meter is full i will counter attack the strongest melee attack this round um completely negate it and deal damage and to get charge the two random cards in my hand will gain the zeal modifier and if i do not play them they give me two charge so generally speaking, the idea is to not play these cards. Which gives a an interesting choice, right? Because in this case, hey, do I need the block now or do I want the zeal? And I want the zeal. The target is still alive and on its turn gain one smite. Well, I fear it will be. And that's all I can do. And yes, the graphics are great. And yes, I do think they are a bit too cartoony, but still, the presentation is just... Pep's kiss. Okay, that's bad. I have absolutely zero defense here. Um, 6, 9. I could kill this guy. But do I want to kill this guy? Uh, how much? Oh yeah, of course. I have 9 Retribution. This guy has 12 HP and I gain Retribution here. So Retribution is how I do counterattack damage. So I can just kill this guy and this will get counterattacked and he will die too. Um, which means... Uh, I am still trying to draw cards like in Slay the Spire when I just have to click and target with the mouse wheel. Mouse, mouse wheel. First. Uh, smash, smash. And I am done, so... Oh no, I still have energy. I can hit that guy then. I still don't know what this resource is called, but um, yeah. Oh, game one smite on counterattack. Will I get a counterattack? That means not killing him this turn, which I probably won't. Only going to do five damage. I can block that completely. What the? Each time you attack, did I hit the guy twice? I hit the guy twice. I'm an idiot. Oh, well, I guess I'll take some damage. Oh, okay, but it's. Oh, Blue Fury is temporary. Okay, so that's a different enemy than the one I faced last time, who gained one permanent fury when I hit him. Anyway, um, let's just... Premented uh, defense. Gain one charge. Gain block equal to twice your charge meter. So that will be either... I will have usually have five charge one turn, and no crap it only applies at the end of the turn 
So I will have one charge or six charge. Well, two or seven with this. I don't think that's worth it. For this is our task. Each, each time you change the zone, gain four ret uh, retribution. That's cool. Or reckless lunge, which causes me charge causes me to lose charge meter. Mm, let's do this. That sounds interesting. Heal 10 HP, upgrade one card, remove one card from your deck, or one antiquarium. Hmm. I want teamwork, but I didn't get it. Moving cards is good, but the antiquariums are kinda good. Well, this one kind of isn't. Uh, Insignia of the Citadel, a rare metal that rewards the most deserving guardians of the Citadel of Mist. The reverse is engraved with a predictive calculation circuit. Each round gain one retribution per foe. That is not a lot. Well, what can you do? Upgrade one card among six. Lose 15 HP, upgrade two cards. Gain 15 max HP, decrease teamwork. Teamwork is at level zero, so I could do this. But traditionally, I'm rather low HP, right? So let's just... <laughs> Knockback is cool. Also causes me to change zone, which means I gain another four zeal. Not zeal, uh, retribution. I mean, six. <laughs> oh, I can make that cost zero. I don't have mana problems, right? Um, that is incredibly useful. And that is just great, so let's just do this. Um, uh, sure. Let's do the same thing again. Oh, that has zeal. I fear the counterattack is probably more important. We run this foe against... Oh, for each ally near him. And this foe changes his zone against one fury. So what I want to do is... Kill this guy first, obviously. Oh, there's no knockback here. That one has the knockback. Fuck my life. Oh, well. That guy stays in the zone when oh, zone attack. Oh, yeah, so I should go over and punch her in the face. Um, turn attack from a discard pile if it costs zero against might. I don't have a permanent one. Passing means it's only available this turn. Hmm, that's annoying. But that costs zero, so I can do this, and this, and that is actually useful as the last attack. Oh wait, she's dead. Um, can I kill her with that? No. Oh, but I still have two mana. So I can do this, then I can do this, and then I can knock him out of the way. <laughs> Go attack that zone over there. That's right. Poison yourself. Well, it's... In Wait! Why did I get the debuff? That's unfair. Um, he's melee attacking me, so basically I just need to sit here and wait. But let's 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 do a, a boatload of damage. So my charge meter is full. In your face. Be Slayer. If the target has at least 100 HP max, I haven't seen anything with 100 HP yet. I guess the first thing would be the boss, but the boss is not in the demo. So when a force is destroyed, gain eight armor and a retribution. Hmm. An attack from a discard pile. That seems useful. Because often enough the question is, do I want to attack that guy and kill him, or do I want to shield up? Upgrade one card, heal 30%. 
his teamwork. And the wolf within is great. Give me that, please. Uh, sure, for some reason it's always the same thing tonight. Uh, well, this time. Earlier was technically also tonight. What do we have here? Changed zone? Not... Each hero's attack not direct at this foe. Oh, that's a shield guy, okay. And this foe's destroyed. So I want to kill this guy, then this guy, then this guy. Uh, we can do that, I think. And the target's still alive on his turn. Gain two smite. I think that will happen. And now I will take 12, 18, 23. Holy shit, 16 damage. Fuck my life. I should have probably used that stuff to block instead of gain charge. Oh well. Uh, that has zeal. That's annoying. It costs zero gain one smite. Oh, I do have. Ooh. Yes, please. Give me that. Now I can smite smite the guy. And then I can... Oh, this guy. And punch him in the face. Or her? Might be a her. Whatever. Ouch. I completely forgot about... ...being hit in the face. By them. Um, so this is annoying that they are not melee attacking me because this only works on melee attacks, right? Um, give me two smite, please. Um... He's not melee attacking me, so I can just do this, because why not? Also, he's dead. <laughs> that would have been a 73 damage counter attack. Holy shit. <clears throat> and sinful strike. 20 damage. Another foe heals 10 HP. I mean, I'm focusing them down anyway, right? Under his gaze, after you attack a random foe, suffers one fragile. Next step, just cut your hand, draw as many cards as your charge meter. If I had more... quote unquote mana, I would do that. Also, that... No, discarding the zeal cards is fine because not playing them at the end also counts as discarding. That's the mechanic. But I think this is best. I'll move one card, upgrade one card, add one black retribution to your deck. That's negative. I want to know what that is, but I don't want to get it just to learn what it is, right? <laughs> On the other hand, hey. Gain two smite and counter attack. I'm not counter attacking much lately. Making that zero or that. I'm not mana stuffed really, especially with keeping the zeal cards. Or I could gain more knockback. I do get a bonus for changing zones, right? When drawn until the end of the round, each time a foe is destroyed, lose 5 HP. That's mm, annoying, but technically I could work around that. On the other hand, if the foe I leave alive does more than 5 damage, I might as well just kill him and take the 5. Hmm. I think that's fine. Oh, that one gained extra HP. Wait, did I play a Zeal card like a Moron? Right. I 
I might actually die here because I didn't pay attention at all. Oh, come on, really? So that's... I need to move. And then I will take 11. Which means I can just play these two and not kill anyone. Which time I change the zone, gain 4. Which sure. And considering I fucked up with the... With the charge anyway. By which I mean the zeal. Now I can change zones again. Actually quite good. Um, that's 15. Oh my god, I need to use all three. That's annoying. And then I will take 12 and I can only deny 7. Oh, that's a melee attack though. Oh, sadly that is 21, not 22. So let's punch. Wait! I can do this. Then this. Then this. And the poor guy will take a billion damage. When he, um... When he hits me. Mash, 67 damage. I got a hurt. Well, that's perfect. Well, not perfect, but it's fine. Oh, come on, really? Are you kidding me? Shit, I should have played this. And I should have paid attention. Fuck me. Um, that's a problem. I'm actually almost dead. I should have also probably got rid of the uh, spreading infections there. After the attack, if you're alone in your zone, draw one. So if I knock back a guy that is alone in the zone, I will be alone in the zone. Um, large opportunities if the target is far. In one. That is quite nice. This is nice in theory, but I never had it actually do anything. I never had that trigger last run. Which is odd, because after I've played it, technically, every second round, it should return to my hand. But, I guess, I don't have enough cards in my deck and I reshuffle too often. Let's try this. Upgrade heal. I think I should actually heal here. Oh, 30%. I'm an idiot. I, I thought 15%. Why was I calculating 15%? I can't do math, apparently. Um, I kind of want to try the elite fight here. Let's see what it does. Uh, choose a card in the discard to return it and reduce its cost by 2 until played. That's the one I used last time. That was quite good. Gain 8 temporary fury. Each attack in your hand has its cost increased by 1 until the end of the round. That is dumb. That's just all around good. Oh! I I found the guy with more than 100 HP. Just Just for the record. 28 fucking damage. What the fuck? Um, I think it's time to do this, right? Ah, I double clicked by mistake. Fuck. Well, might as well use this then, right? 
that means another round before I can um, counterattack anyway. That was really not good. Oh well. Good thing I healed. 36? Are you kidding me? Are you killing me? The answer is yes. And are you kidding me? The answer is apparently also yes. Um, but, 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 I am pretty dead, I think. That's interesting. So apparently the the card I got last round carried me through the game, right? Um, I had one that gives 20 block and one fragile. But the 20 block are worth way more. <laughs> I wonder if that's always the same guy, so let's let's try the elite fight there again. Mm. I'd rather have a card, I think. Expeditions to Justice, discard one random card and draw one card. He's on plus. Next round, gain two mana and two cards. Oh. So let's kill that guy first again, right? A bit annoying that I can't... Wait, did I just literally kill the guy? Didn't even pay attention to that. Um, that I can't block was what I was going to say. Hmm... Let's just kill that guy first. Mainly because I can actually kill the guy. And I can counterattack this. But 21 damage. Pew pew. And that didn't. Oh. No, that is from the other guy dying. So counterattack doesn't give him fury. That's nice. Oh, there's no zero cost. Oh, there is. Um, I think that was a bit dumb. Putting him on 1 HP and making him do another 30 damage or something. <laughs> Fuck me. Um, well, good job, me. That will hurt. Oh, I didn't... I'm an idiot. I didn't play an attack. I get one charge for, for the first attack in a round, but I didn't play an attack, so I didn't get one charge, so I couldn't counterattack, which I would do. That could have killed me. Anyway, like if I had Smite, each time you play Smite, this card's damage increased by 3 until played. That's... I was interested in that card last time. I might just take that without delay. 7 block, same 7 retribution. Yeah, let's take this. Upgrade to remove one. That is both positive. But one and the quorum of tier three. Mm. Engagement protocol often recovered from the carcasses of armored orifantes. These protocols say a lot about the devastating fury that could be powered out by the war machines equipped with them. Each fighter ran a foe suffers six at the end of the round. The end of the first round, I suppose. Right? Not constantly a random foe each round. Hmm. I want the card. Great. When the fight starts, lose 2 HP, then gain 18 block. I don't want to lose HP, and the 18 block are just for one round. That's the first time I found an item that's actually negative. Or has a negative effect. Hmm.
I actually should do this just to kill that guy. Oh, I'm an idiot. Um, I did, um... As it turns out, I did not kill that guy. Oh, I still have... What? Oh, I did kill that guy. Sorry. I was slightly inaccurate. I did actually kill that guy. Wait, that is literally a dead dude. But this is a dead dude anyway. Because counterattack. I'm an idiot. No, if I had played that I couldn't counterattack, so I'm not quite an idiot. But it's still sad to see that the the suit survives with three HP. against reconstruction 5. I still don't know what that is, so that would be interesting. No matter the cost, your smites deal 2 extra damage. Oh, that is just too good. That's just too good. That is just too good to pass up. That's kind of like the shift mechanics in, in Sad Aspire, right? I should increase teamwork because that's 1, 2, 3, 4, Five fights, 25 HP. Well, that's 27. Hmm. But I can get more stuff here. Potentially. Lose five HP, better fight reward. Hmm. Okay, sure. What a do-nothing round, man. Well, I will do 12 damage on the counter attack. I didn't attack, so I can't counter attack because I'm missing one charge. Man, sometimes these mechanics catch me off, off guard. There's no point in saving the zeal cards. Like, literally no point. Um, that guy is dead from the counter attack. Oh, I still have. Oh my god. Oh my god, those poor guys got. Absolutely demolished. Holy shit. But I'm almost dead, so... Uh, <coughs> that is just too good. Give me two turns at least. That's very good. Do I want another Antiquorum? Tier 3? I mean, this means I can see more... But this is the better one, right? Because of Argoth, this terrifying Antiquorum was used by the Invisible Guard of Argoth. Since its disappearance, no one knows how to make it work when there's more than one foe. Each round, if there's only one foe left, a random attack in your hand reduces cost by two. That's not that great. I, I feel like the tier ones are actually better. I want to get out of this zone.
Oh man, all the good cards are are sealed. Welcome to the family, son. Why am I on six? Dodge. Hmm. Oh. Because. No. Hmm. Why am I on six? Anyway. I should go that guy first. Um. I have 19. So I need to do 13 to him. I could have played one of the deal cards. Oh, cool. Mm, boop. Mm, boop. Mm, boop. Mm, boop. Well, this game is just satisfying to play. This is the one, Doom Defense, which seems to be really, really good. This is also good. Because you can always cheat yourself into this position. Hmm, choose an, gain 6 block, choose an attack in your hand, shuffle in your draw pile, it deals 15 extra damage onto the plate. Um, that's interesting because I can actually tutor it back with that other card, right? But this is just, this is just good. <laughs> no effects. Oh, that's the easy fight. <laughs> oh, nice of them to, um... I have the one guy I want to attack, not... Um, not actually block. I think I need this right now. Kill the guy. Not while also counter-attacking, right? I will take 11 damage. That is going to hurt. I wonder which one will, um, which one will be prioritized for the counter-attack. Probably the one that's going to die, right? No. Oh god. Why, game? That was not good. Because that would have given me free block. I'm on 15 and I'm taking 17 and I cannot afford to take anything, any damage anymore. This will get counterattacked, sadly. I mean, I can block this fully, so whatever. I can't actually kill that dude without using this. Which I can if I also use this.
That was the wrong thing. Crap. Oh, I, I forgot that I get 15 for free here. Oh well. Gold of Sand Atulka, venerated relic of Horse Agitha. Agisa? Whatever. Sand Atulka uh, would have transported the Citadel of the Mists by the force of her faith. But each fight with two charge. Tactical Templates Shuffler. Um, uh, starting with two charge means that in the first two rounds I can play one of my zero cards. Tactical Templates Shuffler. This powerful anticorum constantly reveals Hunter's Brother. That's. I already knew that. A draw three, discard three. Rage Accumulator. This Techno Kabbalah anticorum feeds on the anger of its bearer. Badly adjusted and idiocid uncontrolled movements of the bearer, which can handicap him. When the fight starts, a random attacker. Uh, attack in your hand. It's five damage on the plate, and you gain one mana. Hmm. This is also useful. This is just raw damage. This gives gives me options. But well, let's do the options thing. Use teamwork. Hola familia. I've completely forgot what that does. I should probably heal. Just in case. Uh, increase teamwork. Remove a card, gain an anticorum. That's great. Uh, rejuvenating Icon. Without its guardian divinity, this icon can no longer be fully used. However, its divine aura is such that its mere touch is enough to invigorate the most exhausted fighters. First time it drawn your hand is empty. Draw one card. I don't think I have ever emptied my hand. And that is against this house's passive ability. So let's do the oh come on. <laughs> let's let's do the uh, the 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 Tango Magic fight, right? Why is this zero? Did I upgrade that and did it the wrong? No, that's not upgraded. Why is that a zero cost? Oh, why is that a zero cost card? I am... I, I'm Confucius. I do not have zero next turn. Gain 10 and draw a card. Sure. Oh. Next round. Sure. Oh. And those are going to... Okay, now I guess. Buff self. Oh, that is annoying. 31, are you kidding me? I do not have three or less, but it's cost zero, so whatever. Also, whatever, I can just counterattack that, so there's that. It gives me a smite, which is 12 damage in total then. But this is already 12 damage, so... I'm dealing a lot of damage right now. And this is kind of pointless. I really want to play this. But I can only block 21 of 31. So let's not. I need to kill that guy. And I will not. Crap. Oh, that doesn't help either. Oh, come on. Keeping that is worse than keeping that. Oh, that will hurt so much.
Holy fuck. And just because he was at 8 HP. <laughs> Take the temperature of a guild assessor. We have the circuits. And all of those. Each fight the first four, you attack gains when destroyed, gain blow. First time you play a program, gain one mana. That's just for the first first program, not every time. That's not that good, I suppose. Teamwork plus one. 20 each invasion. Oh, I'm not going to get to an invasion. I don't want to lose that card, so... Effective Proviator. These modest generators of energy date from such a remote era that the very name of the Guardian deity has been forgotten in the meanders of time. Either the first or second round, gain one mana and a card. Blighted Rosary. After the departure of the gods from Orisa, many powerful prayer beads were left there. Strange Blight makes them tricky to use. Each fight, add three Purify beads to your draw pile. When there are no more Purify beads in your deck, gain 10 charge and 6 D retribution. Don't mind if I do. Well, I could have reached this. I did the same mistake last time. Teamwork seems to be pretty good, right? This fight uh, foes gain 15 HP max and HP. This fight foes gain T Fury. If that is a three people fight again, I do not want to Fury. It is not. But I'm still glad that I didn't give him extra fury, honestly. Welcome to the family, son. Oh. I'm going to take 41 damage and there's not much I can do against it. Oh, that doesn't go to the discard pile. That's too bad. I have so much mana. Oh, I can counterattack. Oh, that's going to be interesting to see if I counterattack both hits of the melee attack. Yes! Holy shit, that is retardedly good. Each time you play smite, this cuts damage increase. Oh, wait. Let me play the smites first, real quick. And now it is very much out. I cannot kill him. Oh, I could draw a card. Shit, I wasted mana already, right? Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> That's a thing. Smash, 81 damage. Nice. Early warning drone. The small light and compact device makes it possible to anticipate the first risks of an engagement. First round each for each target you attack for the first time, gain three block and one card. Divine Intercessor. One of the last non-divine intercessors gifts of the technology of Lethal, a major divinity of the era of the Odyssey. Each fight gain one divine intercession, whatever that does. Hasty starter. Delicate in quorum that had to be part of a whole. If it does not perform well in the middle of a fight, it can at least predict an ambush when the fight starts draw one card. Oh, and that is the end of the demo. <sighs> I cannot wait for this to come out because it is very, very fun. Anyway. Until next time, I guess. Beneath Orisa. Out.